How does Hextech Transmogulator work? Do I target his first? There is no instructions. I'll transform a follower into another follower. There we go. That looks right. <laughs> uh, probably just generic indoor. The version with the lease though. That's a bit that's a bit um that's a bit weird. I think that's a bit weird. I'm actually gonna kick the tri-beam. I think I'm starting to believe that tri-beam might be a bit too slow for this deck. I will definitely keep the two three sixes. It gets very niche value, and I think a card like Static Shock would just give this deck so much more consistency. Which might be what this deck needs the most, more than anything. Hey man, thanks for the follow. How you going? Oh, we're ramping. We're ramping with Elise. Hang on. Hang on. He, he clearly he must be playing War Mothers. I think the Obliterate's probably going to be very key in this matchup. If we go very late, Meteor Shower is probably low value. Like, there's no way he's playing Catalyst as well as some early game. It's Lidros OTK, I guess. You know what? You, you probably are right. So I think Falling Comet's going to be great value. Um, written in the stars to maybe draw into Heimerdinger, but it looks like we're in a pretty good spot. It's the same deck like Grappler played before. Okay. And was and was he running a list that had a list like this? I think we can go ahead and play the Leona here. Maybe it might be better just playing Shield Bearer actually. It's essentially like the same attack. Just my board's a bit more susceptible to like Avalanche. I won't have mana for Sunburst next turn. Well, he's not running Trundle. I guess I don't have to be concerned about anything like that. Let's just go ahead and play Leona. Gives us a better sturdy board. He also run Elise. He said that Elise can make people mulligan for aggro and Dua. Well, you're not wrong. That's kind of what I did. Instead of keeping my valuable cards. I, I kept kind of slow cards. Like, I can just play like Ravoon here, right? I probably can't just tank 10 damage, but I can maybe tank 5. Wait, how much mana is he on next turn? Holy shit, he's on 9. He can just like ruinate us. I can like play Morning Light. I'm like super down with playing Morning Light. He basically needs Ruination and if he Ruinates, he's also sacrificing his current board state. Yeah, this is kind of uh, a bit threatening. Vile Feast plus what? Double Vile Feast. Okay. Well, now he has two chump blockers, so that's hilarious. Actually, I can play Solari here. Hello, where can I see decks to rank up? Uh, that's a good question. Honestly? Uh, Mobilytics, you can go to Mobilytics if you like.
Is this what he wanted? For me to block like this? Troll chant? That's fine. I'm lacking value. All right, we can play the Donga. Can't deal with the Leedros if it comes down though. Yeah, we can't deal with the Leedros anyway. He's already at Lidros. I mean, I don't see any issue with playing the next Flash. Ruination? That'd be fine if he ruinates. I think he's got Withering Whale more than likely. Oh, where's his what? Hello? Revitalizing Raw. Okay. That's a zero mana Lidros alongside. Uh, that's, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Uh, we pass for now. I'm going to outplay him though here, guys. I'm about to outplay him. Actually, Hextech. I'm so glad to see it. I'm actually super glad to see it. Watch this. This wait, so how does the ordering work for this? Transform my unit into Lidros? No, I want to transform his unit into... How does Hextech Transmogulator work? Do I target his first? There is no instructions. I'll transform a follower into another follower. There we go. That looks right. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> Dude, that hex deck. I've never seen that card be so amazing. Although I was so paranoid about choosing the wrong instructions. Read the instructions, you said. Read the instructions, you say. Marvelous. <laughs>